What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, me, and this is my review of the McFarlane Toys Roar 10 Send Hoof. That's all right. I'm gonna be sending Hoof here into his review with some really nice art, guys. I really like the art that they've used on these Raw 10 figures, and man. I am so glad we got more Raw 10 figures because I absolutely love the first one. There's also a Pterodon out there, but unfortunately, at the mercy of Walmart's uh, pre-orders here, of course, this has been out in store for at least a month, maybe two months already. Yet, here he is in January 2022. Finally get at least a hook. I don't know where Pterodon is. However, there are two versions of both of these guys. A more colored version of this i guess i don't know or maybe it's a version with silver i, I don't recall you guys can let me know down below i only care to get one of each to let you know right now i'm not going to be trying to get any more than that uh i just don't care but it does uh, look good so without any further ado let's get served So if you're looking uh, for highly articulated figures, these Raw 10 figures ain't it. But let's get that out of the way. You got shoulder swivels, you have a head swivel, and you have a leg swivel. So 5-P-O-A. But what you do have is an awesome animal cyborg figure. Oh, I've loved this line. Saigar was one of my favorite figures of 2020. <laughs> I was like, what year did it come out in? Um, we got nothing in 2021 unless you found this guy in store towards the end of the year. Um, and I'm not counting it. I didn't get it last year. I got it this year and I had it on pre-order. So he's 2022 for me. Um, and like I said in my tops of the year, it's really going to be about the figures I review, um, and when I review them this year. Uh, and I'm saying that because just like Saigor, this thing is incredible looking. I absolutely love it. Look at the meat on that arm. That is awesome. He's really, really, really juiced up, man. Look at that. Yeah. Look at all the texture here. Got a lot of bumps, grooves, osteoderms, all of that good stuff. Skin texture is incredible. There's a bit of a wash on this guy too. He's got a little, 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 little fist there, but you know, little, little fingers. Uh, but that's cool. He's still gonna wallop you. Love his nails. Really like that on him a lot. Same thing here. Lots of great, great detail. Pock marks, everything, man. Whew. All the skin imperfection. Look at that elbow. Look at this elbow, dudes. This is amazing. Absolutely stunning looking. And that's just the arms. They look so good. Let's go below here. Toes. There's no color on the toenails or the fingernails, but details are great. The details are absolutely wonderful. Bottom speed are just flat. But look at all this detail in the leg, man. Look at this texture. Rhino textures. He is awesome. His knees are fantastic, too. Look at that. So cool. Look at this leg. That's a big old meaty leg, guys. Muscular. Oh, man. So good. Going up here into the belly do love everything I see here. Seam lines are pretty thick on the side though, like they're gonna come apart or something, but um, mm, uh, right now, this side's pretty pretty uh, closed up, but I'd be a little bit worried about that. All of this skin texture is fantastic. Looking really great, love it. So everywhere where there's this brown, meaty color with a little bit of wash in there, really, really dig it. It looks very, very good. 
and then you get to this like orange cybernetic piece which is funny because this is like a soft plastic on them uh, and this is a cyber part uh, but they did it in a soft plastic which I think is interesting uh, but look how well it takes this like brushwork over it this uh yeah it's like a little bit of a good dry brush and wash here love it wash and dry brushing are two separate things <laughs> but the weathering is very nice on it is what i want to say um all this tubing is great i like it a lot the belly is great too i didn't really mention that i kind of got away from it but fantastic but I love this and I love how it's integrated and the different material just makes it stand out because this is a little bit glossy, not too much glossy, but this is very, very matte and really good looking. You're getting a lot of great sculpt work into this like soft rubber plastic, which is phenomenal. Look at how the spine looks from, you know, the normal spine to the, you know, robotic spine. That is awesome. And then you get these giant dorsal fins on the back here that look absolutely incredible. Oh, more tubing. Really, really great. Really like dark, like burnt pieces here and here. So good. So good, my dudes. I love this. I love how this looks. God, whoever's making these toys, whoever's designing them is having an absolute ball with these. Such a great line. If you're not... <laughs> guys, if you love, like, monsters, kaiju, and all that, and you're not collecting this line, this is a $20 figure that you can find at Walmart. Like, you're nuts. Look at the detail. This is incredible. I said this for, for Cygor. It's like an X Plus for 20 bucks. That's the level you're getting here. That's so good. Giant horn, looking awesome. Smaller horn. You know, obviously, you know, not as many paint apps and stuff. But what you are getting is tremendous. And if you want to paint it more, it's all there for you. Look at the level of detail. Look at this. Look at this face sculpt. Eyes look really good. All of this here under his eye is amazing. All these wrinkles, super great. I'll get to the mouth in a second. The other eye, also good. The other side of his face, awesome. The horn, look at all the detail. His ears. And then inside the mouth, holy cow. He's got rotting tooth. He's got like missing teeth. This is insane. Look at the detail in that mouth, guys. Look at that tongue. Are you kidding? There's not one imperfection there. The little XX plastic, but that's gone now, look. I mean, wow. Wow. This is so good. Guys, this, this is so, so awesome. Like, you gotta get him to stand a little bit. He, you know, he's top heavy. You gotta be strategic and to be fair, this table is not so hot when it comes to standing up guys strategically. I'm just going to put them a little bit to the side there. But the proportions are awesome on this as well. I love it. And I, I did you hear me say anything bad about this, really? No. This is just an amazing, amazing, amazing figure. Stunning. <laughs> Good stop where you... It's for, pause. Stop the video. <laughs> Just go, go, get out of here. Not you, yeah, you too. No video left, the, no video left. Just press pause, stop, go to walmart.com and order this figure. That, it's it's really, really that good. Okay, there's more, more video to come, just keep watching. For your size comparisons, first up here is a Godzilla and a, a Kong, uh, two big figures here um, to show you how big this dude is. <laughs> to further illustrate how big this guy is, here's the SH Monster Arts Con. And finally, here is how he stacks up with Saigor himself, and man, they look amazing. Oh, this... 
<laughs> this is such a great shelf display. I absolutely love this. So, so cool. I can't wait to get all of these guys back on the shelf. You know, some of them are still packed away, but I um, was able to uh, get to Saigor here and yeah, I, mean, I had to get to Saigor, had to get him. Um, this looks so good. I, I really, really like it. I think they scale really well together. Saigor is a little bit taller, but man, they both have that same girth. They they both were like tw just 20 bucks for this. How is e that even possible? Guys, these are two of the best figures, in my opinion, of the last few years. Um, this, this Rhino is going to be up there. He is pretty impeccable. And my final thoughts, I mean, what else do I have to say? It's, it's great. It's an absolutely stunning figure. I love every aspect of it. Um, you know, like, I don't mind that it's not that articulated. That doesn't mean anything to me. You're getting uh, sculpt work like no other at this price point. You know, like, it, it, this is an outright steal. I said that about Saigor. Um, this is an outright steal. And it should be illegal <laughs> for it to be priced so low. This is beautiful. There is not one blemish on this guy. Where this paint, it is perfect in my opinion. I absolutely love it. And like I said in the middle of this video, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, really, if, if you're not convinced yet, you know, um, just trust me. Trust me on this one. <laughs> when you're done, go buy this figure at Walmart. Um, because you're gonna love it. It is so awesome. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out.